this is Mike J. Welcome back to the channel. What I want to talk about here today is my ownership of my 2020 Toyota Supra, which is actually a BMW, as we all know. Almost 1,500 miles on this car, and what are my thoughts on it? Well, I love it. The thing is, would I, knowing know what I know now, would I buy this car all over again for the $54,000 that goes along with this car? And I would have to say, yes, I would. But this is the thing. For a lot less money, you can buy other cars out there that are just as fast, but you don't get the German car experience. But anyways, with this car, the exhaust is awesome. Now, those of you that know that I traded in a 1SS Camaro with an MPP exhaust, and of course, this sounds nothing like the Camaro SS that I had, because I had a fabulous exhaust. Nevertheless, this exhaust is very well suited for this type of car, because this is a sports car. The Camaro's more of a muscle pony car. But anyways, that was a cool startup. Of course, the Camaro would sound a heck of a lot more aggressive than the Supra. But anyways, I wanna show you guys that the exhaust system on the Toyota Supra is very similar to what you'll find on the Camaro SS. I'm gonna go underneath the car and show you the exhaust. And as you can see, you got a big old suitcase in the back that goes out into your exhaust pipes. And then you've got that section that goes all the way straight down where the pipes meet into the suitcase. On the Camaro SS with the MPP exhaust, this is a very similar setup to how they have the Supra. And when it's sitting and idling, you know, it doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of noise like the Camaro MPP exhaust. Nevertheless, for a inline six cylinder turbocharged motor, it sounds pretty awesome. But anyways, like I said, you know, I've owned this car for a little over two months and I love it. And would I buy this car again? If you can swing the 54 grand, what these cars cost, I'd say yes, go ahead and buy one. But like I said, you can get yourself something for a lot less money that's just as fast as one of these Supras. And of course, dealerships right now are offering a rebate on the 2020 models. On the 2021s, they are not so workable on price. Some dealerships are still doing markups on these cars. Well, owning this car, if you do have a steep driveway like I do, you know, I'm sure that you've watched my videos and you've seen my driveway in my new house. I do have a pretty steep incline on my driveway. But does it scrape? I have, and I'll show you the front end from scraping. And it scrapes in the areas that you would think that it would, but it scrapes on other parts of the car. That is kind of annoying. Let me see if I can show you. This plastic piece right here, that you can see, has some scrape marks on it from my driveway. And if you are not careful, I don't know if you can see it, but we got a little bit of scrape here on the lip that protrudes outside forward of this plastic piece. And the other side, it's got the same thing. But the Corvette actually does sit lower, but I guess this is how the lip is on the suit. I tried backing it in the driveway and that makes it a lot worse. So when you do own one of these cars, you have a steep driveway, this is what's gonna happen. And believe me, I take it very slow. Is it annoying? Yes, it is, but what are you gonna do, 
right? It's just how my driveway is. But anyways, there's uh, no issues, troubles, or anything with the Supra. It is an awesome car still. Would I buy the car again? Of course I would, but I'm just saying that you can save yourself a lot of money and buy something else that is just as fast, but you don't have the same driving experience. And on the Corvette, obviously this car does rub, but the thing is, the Corvette takes it on these plastic air dam pieces and not actually on the lip. As you can see on the Supra, the plastic piece does fine. It's just that the forward portion of the splitter or whatever you want to call it does scrape a little bit and you can see right there. Anyways, there we have it. I love this car. Actually, I'm going to be taking it out and pretty soon it'll catch up to the mileage on my bed that's a year and a half old. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment. Tap the notification bell for future videos and I'll see you in the next one. I am 20 subscribers away from 1,000 where I can get monetized. I need your help. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.